Russian accuses Ukraine of using a cluster bomb provided by Biden on civilians in Donetsk. Okay, this is an interesting story. Let's check this one out for sure. Let's check this one out. All right, here we go, folks. Russia accuses Ukraine of using a Biden-supplied cluster bomb on civilian targets in Donetsk. Russian officials have claimed Ukraine has shelled civilian areas of contested Donetsk region with a cluster bomb supplied to the country. Why do they repeat themselves over and over? Are they going to repeat it again? Uh, according to Russian-installed Donetsk Mayor Alexei Kolimzin, Ukrainian forces used a deeply controversial cluster bomb in an assault on Friday evening that saw university buildings set ablaze. As a result of another shelling of Donetsk, the first building of the University of Economics and Trade is on fire, Kolimzin said on his Telegram channel. According to a preliminary information, the Ukronazis... Is that what it says? The Ukrainians used cluster munitions. <laughs> what is that? Ukrainian Nazis? Ukrainians? <laughs> That's funny. They are Ukrainian Nazis. That's what a lot of people don't understand about this war. We're literally paying Nazis to shoot Christians uh, in this in this battle here. After World War II, the Ukrainian Nazis were excluded from the Nuremberg trials and they've been chilling in Ukraine the whole time. You know what I mean? Like they didn't go nowhere. That's why they're still repping it, dude. So the Donetsk People's Republic, the breakaway region of the eastern Ukraine that has since been annexed by Russia, claimed to per Russian state media RT that four rounds of 155 millimeter cluster bomb were fired into the city center on Saturday evening, sparking fires into three separate districts. The cluster munitions reportedly exploded in the air. At the time of this reporting, Ukraine has not confirmed nor denied involvement in the attack on Don Donetsk. Ukraine has claimed that during the same evening, Russian hit a blood transfusion center in the Kharkiv region. President Zelensky described the attack as a war crime that says everything about Russian aggression. Ukraine, which has provided with stocks of cluster munitions from Joe Biden administration last month, has stated that it only intended to use the weapon against heavily entrenched Russian military positions along the front. So this is a view from a Russian-controlled Donetsk moments ago after the shelling. Let's take a look. That looks like a fire on the roof. I don't know how... I don't know what something hit by a cluster bomb looks like. I'm just going to assume it doesn't look like a fire burning on the middle of the roof. With no damage to the exterior of the building or anything like that. So that might be some Russian propaganda. We don't know. And we can't know. There's not really any way to know. The decision by Washington to supply Kiev with the cluster bombs came with some controversy, given that they are currently banned in over 100 countries over the disappropriate danger posed to civilian populations. The bomb works by scattering into smaller bomblets in the sky before raining down onto the ground. Cluster munitions are reported to have a high dud rate, meaning that some of the smaller bombs do not explode upon impact with the ground and can go off at a later date often injuring unsuspecting civilians. The alleged use of a cluster bomb on Donetsk comes as Ukrainian delegation traveled to Jeddah, Saudi Arabia, as the Gulf state hosted what is being referred to as peace talks. So far, there has been little information to come out of the talks, yet expectations are that they will not result in a peace settlement or a ceasefire from the fighting. That's because in order to have a peace settlement, America has to get involved. America has to want there to be a peace settlement, which America does not want because we're being run by the puppet Joe Biden. The American people want peace in Ukraine. Joe Biden does not. 
I didn't vote for him. I didn't vote for him, folks. I'm just saying. Uh, the reason why peace is so unlikely to emerge from the talks is that Russia has not invited all to the table. Former Russian President Dmitry Medvedev criticized the talks for failing to have the participation of both sides of the conflict represented. However, the negotiations themselves are not yet needed. The enemy must crawl on his knees begging for mercy. Medvedev added. <laughs> Ah, uh, isn't that a Russian statement? For his part, President Zelensky said for the talks in a total 42 countries are represented there, different continents, different political approaches to global affairs, but everyone is united for the priority of international law. And it is for this that the Ukraine proposed the peace formula because the international rules-based order violated by Russian aggression must be restored. All right, so they're still going to pretend that Ukraine hasn't been aggressive since our CIA overthrew the government and installed this comedian puppet. They don't think they've been aggressive because I'm pretty sure you guys have been bombing uh, Crimea for five years and killing Russians for five years while pushing closer and closer to joining NATO. And basically poking Biden or Putin in the eye repeatedly over and over. He finally blocked it and bitch slapped you. And you're like, oh, Russian aggression. Russian aggression. Um, okay. You're like that pussy out in public who's all badass, starts a fight. And then when he gets his ass beat, he calls the police and presses charges against the guy who did not want to fight him, who tried not to fight him, but who he insisted whoop his ass. That's Ukraine. Ukraine's the pussy at the bar. Take your ass whooping, bro. Like Medjaved said or whatever, you need to crawl to Putin and be like, all right, this is what we're doing. But you can't, and why can't you? You can't because you've been installed by the industrial complex, military industrial complex, and they don't want that. They would like war with Russia. They would like to overthrow Putin from Russia, which doesn't make sense because why in the hell do you think the guy who's going to take over Putin's position is going to be less of a crazy Russian. Has regime changed in any other nation America has flipped that switch on worked out? Did Hillary Clinton killing Gaddafi make the world better? No, I'm pretty sure we got open slave markets now. Um... So, what are we doing, folks? What are we doing with international policy on just what are we doing? It doesn't make any sense whatsoever. Nothing we ever do is to benefit America. We're like, oh, but we need to spread democracy. We don't have a democracy. Why are we spreading democracy? We're not spreading constitutional republics. No, no one's going around spreading that. If you want to go around and spread constitutional republics, go for it. You're going around spreading majority rules, which is the easiest way for a society to be controlled by the dumbest, loudest voices. And that's exactly what you want. The dumbest and loudest people that will listen to you to be the ones in charge of the country with the ability to just drag leaders out and murder them in the streets, a.k.a. Gaddafi. So what are we doing with foreign policy, folks? What are we doing with foreign policy? I don't get it at all.